Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and this week we'll be talking about the latest Bloodsport weapon test. Last time was over 10 weeks ago, and a lot has changed since. Work on the bot stalled for a while until all of a sudden BattleBox was greenlighted to film again in October. We've put now a lot more work into the weapon system, and for these tests we're using all four motors at a 90 amp current limit. That means we have about four times the weapon power as last time to spin up way faster than before. We're also using the thick bar this time, a weapon I helped to fabricate. Stabilizer fins included, it weighs around 70 pounds, and it's much thicker than the 3 quarter inch thick tri bar we used last time. This weapon should hit even harder at the same speeds. We've also installed Hall Effect sensors on the weapon motors, which increases the low speed torque of the motors to aid with spin up and self writing once we have a writing pole fabricated. There is one other change while you attempted, but with sadly poor results. You'll see why in a bit. But I know what you're thinking less talk and more breaking stuff. While I had a wide tripod angle with my new GoPro Hero 8, I also brought along my crippled but semi-functional GoPro Hero 6 in a polycarbonate protective case to mount on top of the robot for a first-person bot cam experience. Enjoy the footage. So as you can see, that wasn't exactly the plan. We found out that with the wheels wearing down rather fast, the web glitch didn't have a high enough hinge point to keep them scraping the floor. I designed and printed new mounts with carbon fiber nylon in place of the machined UHMW ones I'd made before. Problem is, I ran into heaps of trouble with the filament and my printer, leading to over a half dozen failed prints due to everything from warping and lifting off the build plate, to extruder jams, to just bad luck and a power outage during a storm. When I finally did get four of them printed, I was rushing the prints at 90mm per second, and it turns out that made the layer bonding absolute garbage. The mounts broke a bit when we loaded the bot into the car because they were bent backwards too far, and that allowed the wedgeless to bend upwards into the path of the weapon, something they're designed not to allow. We'll work out a better way to make these in the future, but for the time being we just removed the other two wedgelets after a fruitless search through the brush to find the ones that got knocked out of the park. After seeing this footage, we can probably find the first one when we come back to the abandoned lot. Oh well, live and learn. If you think it's hard to pitch a baseball at 100 miles an hour, imagine how hard the robot hit these 5 pound steel wedgelets to launch them at least that fast. We got our revenge on the cable box either way.
Yeah, one of them is like sitting right next to where he was standing. There's like all over this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't blue before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thankfully, after Justin yeah, accidentally drove backwards yeah. into the printer, launching it in our general direction, none of us were hurt, and the worst that we had to deal with was a bit of really light plastic shrapnel being tossed kind of towards us, as well as a couple of the ink cartridges that were launched out of the printer. The hill took the brunt of most of the large shrapnel, and nobody was hurt. The only casualty was my camera tripod, unfortunately, which has a leg that got really badly bent, and I haven't quite been able to salvage it afterwards motor over here. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it got flattened. Are you kidding? Yeah, I think that's what the vent was, but it wasn't flat before. <laughs> yeah, geez. Well then. That was more exciting than I thought. <laughs> Oh no, you got black ink all over the robot. Oh no. Oh, Damn. you got it on the black wheel I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to make more like it soon. Bloodsport will definitely be doing a lot more testing leading up to Season 5. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video with less focus on narration. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you like this video, leave a like, and I really appreciate any feedback or questions I see in the comments. Thanks for watching!